I don't have words to describe Thiago Santos' strength. When I saw what has this guy been through and when I've seen an insane amount of damage to his knee and take a look at the fact that he somehow still finished the fight with John Jones, my head's off. I'm kind of surprised how could a man go so far. I mean, it's technically, tactically impossible to finish a fight with uh, such injuries, uh, with such problems, but Thiago Santos is tougher than anyone I have ever heard of. I mean, even at UFC 1, 2, 4, people will... People were pulling out when they hurt one knee. But with both knees fucked, Thiago Santos finished the match with John Jones. And he nearly dominated him, at least he was an even rival, you know. Santos was bendable knee away from beating John Jones, man. MMA, I mean, the greatest of all time in 205. Nearly lost to a dude on one leg with both knees fucked. It was surreal to watch in real time and now you know a new MRI results have arrived claiming damage Santos fought through is even crazier. Oh man This is what the report says. I mean not I'm shocked I for a minute, I thought I was losing my mind for a minute, you know, I thought I went crazy, but I ain't. The extent of Thiago Santos' left knee injuries make his UFC 239 performance even more remarkable. Mareta went 5 rounds with light heavyweight champion John Jones in Las Vegas on Saturday night, losing via split decision. On Monday, an MRI exam showed that the left knee meniscus and all its ligaments are completely torn. His team told, and Combate first reported the news, Santos' right knee, which needed surgery early this year, also suffered damage during the fight as the Brazilian compensated for his left knee injuries. Santos will do more tests on his right knee to determine if he needs surgery on that knee as well. Out for the rest of 2019, but man, out of both knees, without both knees, Left knee torn to tiny busted up shreds. Oh man. You were fighting without knees. You were... I don't know how was he kicking, but he was kicking all the time. I don't know where he found that inner strength, man. I've never seen something like that. I mean, I follow UFC since uh, its beginnings, but I started to actively follow it in 23. And uh, I got to say... In the last 16 years I haven't seen such a thing, I mean... MMA history will always remember the two functional working knees, Thiago Santos is now a mythological figure and... Uh, Santos nearly bashed bones on one knee, but Santos had no knees, that's the point, he had no knees at all. I don't know, the, the best thing would be... If Santos pulled off a massive upset and then been ruled out for the rest of the year, but unfortunately referees said 48-47, 48-47 .47, 47-47, 47-48 and the only way John Jones' reign of terror ends is on, on some sort pirate pe peg like warrior stuff. It could have been so perfect, you know, but if UFC ever allows a rematch between the two, I think Moretta could and John Jones title reign because if he was so damn good on one knee or without knees what would have happened if his knees were okay yeah in the first round everybody scored it 10-9 in the favor of Maretta man this guy is the toughest UFC fighter I have ever seen